So we have our web application secured with uh, Azure AD B2C and our web application uh, can create users in the Azure Active Directory and also verify user credentials during the login process. So let's check that it still works for now. For that I will go to anonymous tab of the web browser, open web application and right now I do not have any users in my Active Directory. Let's check. This is my Azure, my B2C tenant. In the users tab I have only admin user and I don't have any like uh, application create users. So let's create one. For that we, we press sign up, provide user email, uh, send verification code to my email address and now I will set password for my new user like that. Provide all necessary fields and create. Due to configuration of my Active Directory I am forced to uh, set up two-factor authentication so I am opening Authenticator app on my mobile device and scan provided QR code. Like that. Then I need to confirm my two factor authentication configuration from a mobile device. And yes, I am logged in to my web application with a newly created user with the following name, all uh, external additional claims. Uh, yep, let's verify that user in our Azure Active Directory. I click refresh here and here is my user. Works as a charm. So web app could create and authenticate users in the Asia Active Directory B2C via user, uh, user interface. But what if we need create users not only via web interface from the web app in the Azure B2C but also via web API calls from our, for example, web API. So let's check how it's uh, possible to create a web API, let's say for the user's CRUD operations, where create user operation via API call will also create user in the Azure P2C and provide some data in our local database. Like that. Uh, for that, we need another one, web API. Let me open that web API right here. So what we have a web API, some kind of storage and identity service. Let's check this identity service. It's a, a iGraph service client provider implementation where we can get list of users via Graph API get single user, create user and do any type of uh, create, read, update, delete operations but in the Azure AD. Uh, for that we need special configuration for that service. Let me check up settings. Here we have tenant AD, client AD. Just a normal Azure AD configuration but for new app registration. Let's check app registration in our B2C tenant. Here I've created new web API like that. It has special API permissions. So via add permission I've added couple special API permissions uh, I, th I believe the most important of them is user read write all. Here I don't expose anything for any applications and I also have a secret 
for that API. So all information client AB5 client AB5 the same tenant newly created secret and some information needed for automatic user creation. So let's run this service in order to see how it works. While it's starting, let me remind Web API to create users in the Azure P2C Active Directory and in our local database. By the local database, I mean some kind of pretty simple table. Here it is. Right now it's empty, but it will store user ID, username, email, and couple additional fields like YouTube and LinkedIn handles. For example, this is something that we do not store in our Azure Active Directory. Instead, we decided to save these two fields uh, on-prem or in any kind of external database. So right now this table is empty and let's go to... Um, let's set a couple breakpoints. So we have endpoints to create uh, a user here, create a user API. Let's verify its implementation create in a handler we do two things first one we create user via graph api and second we create user in our local database storage let's keep this breakpoint right here and try create user from a postman in the payload uh, of the request body i've provided name email, password, and two additional fields which I think I need to store together with a user like YouTube handle and LinkedIn URI. So let's make this API call. As we can see, we are in the uh, post method handler. Let's go next. This is a handle method. First, we create a user via Graph API like that. Instantiate our client, create our body and send POST request to the Graph API. When this Graph user created, we grab its ID and this ID provided us by Azure and create our local user in the local database. Let's check local database. First, what we see here is a new user record, 7B49. This is data I've provided in the request and additional fields. Let's verify that the same new user was created in our B2C. So in the users, I will open list of my users and here I can see my newly created user. This one, properties, just a normal user. The most important question is, will it be possible to log in from a UI with that user? Let's try. So this is our incognito window of our front-end web application. What I will do here, I will try to sign in and in the Azure B2C sign-in screen, I provide all information needed for my user authentication, like that. User email and password, like that. I will, please, I will press sign-in button and what I can see here, is a two-factor authentication setup screen. So for that newly created user, according to my policy, I also need to set up two-factor authentication. I will open my mobile app for authentication, add new account, click continue, provide my verification code, like that. 
and I am successfully logged in into the web application with a user created via web API call. I also have all the automatically provided claims, but I do not have claims from the UI, obviously, because I did not provide it in the API. What we also can do via API, we can get a list of all users, for example. And here I have only one user. We can delete a user. We can get specific user and obviously we can update existing user. So just for consistency, let's sign out. Let's delete this user. So the user ID is this one. I will first of all try to get this user and I successfully got the user. What I will do right now, I will delete that user via API. Send. Seems to work. I will try via get request that I do not have that user anymore. Okay, it's unhandled exception, but anyway, it seems like user is not present. In the database, I do not have user. In the Azure AD in the users list, I do not have that test user. And let's try as a final test, try to sign in with that demo user. I need his credentials in order to try log in. Sign in. Okay. And obviously it couldn't find my account because it was deleted. That's it. We can create users via UI and create users via API. We can decide which data to store where in Asia we store data allowed to store by Asia. Any kind of other information we can save in our local database. Thanks and see you.